What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and welcome to part two of my Global Challenge 3 run. I have an in-depth breakdown of this team in the first part, so I'm going to leave a link to that in the description if, this is, if you somehow haven't watched that yet, if you want a more in-depth breakdown. But basically, it's Grimmsnarl sets up screens, Moltres or Gudra set up their boosts, Sinistra and Milotic heal them, Incineroar is an Incineroar. Alright, let's get on to the battles. Okay, we are fighting a Dondozo team that has a torque hole on it. I'm thinking this is a sort of a 2-2-2 two, two, two team, but a little, a little mi mixed up. That could be a Parish Song into Dondozo. Yeah, Parish Song, the Tatsu, bring in Dozo. Obviously, I'm bringing Melodic. Melodic's actually good overall. But Milotic with the Haze, that's the play all day. Uh, Grim is good. They don't have any trapping. I want Milotic in the back. But I think I'll lead with Grim and Moltres, just in case they want to go like with Cresselia or something. I could probably mess them up. Definitely bring Milotic in the back. And finally, I mean, like, Gudra doesn't hit Dondozo. So maybe it's just Sinistra. Sinistra could take hits from Dondozo, could knock it out, especially once we get the Haze. We don't want to set up Gudra and then just have to Haze it away. I'm acknowledging that Moltres might get some boosts that go away eventually, but I don't see much use for Incineroar. So this is going to be what it is. Um, oh, it could be a Psych Up Cresselia. Yeah. Parish Song. That's a trainer card. Uh, Perish Song, the Tatsu, go into Dozo, let it die, bring in Cresselia, psych up yourself. That's exactly what they're doing. Got it. I'm gonna reflect. I don't want to bring in my Lotic chest yet. Probably next turn I do. I think I'll reflect. Turn two, I'll bring in my Lotic. Maybe just get some fiery wrath damage, just in case they go for something different. Going for endure. It's a little weird. You don't have protect. Misty explosion. <laughs> Yo, what? Yo! <laughs> That's hilarious. I have never seen anything that funny. That's... That feels like basically the same thing, but way different. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, I got the reflect up. I should've got light screen, apparently. Now you just bring out Dondozo and you protect. Moltres would swap out first, so I swap that slot into Sinistra to heal Grimstarl. Otherwise I will get his Patali to would just fail. It's not like I need healing on Grimstarl for the end game, but... So yeah, you swap into my Lotic second. You swap into Sinistra first. And I assume they're just gonna protect. And then I get to take advantage of this reflect and set up my haze and be basically all good. I hope. I mean, I guess if they hit my Lotic really hard right now, I could be in a little trouble. But I still have Rage Powder, too. So I'm not really that concerned. I don't think my Lotic would go down to anything you have to offer. And you 
order up that slot, you get a speed boost for that, whatever. Yep, it's Cresselia. Which should be faster than my Milotic, honestly, which is funnier. Like, it doesn't change anything, but I think getting the Haze after it psych ups would be way funnier. I'll start just doing damage with Machigacha. Alright, what do you got? A Terra, sure. Yeah, you don't want to get hit by a strong Machigacha, so that's fine. Oh, it's Cress. Into Steel? Not sure what that gets you. That's a cool type, though. I mean, it would levitate. I'm gonna get some healing back, too. Oh no! It's Psych Up Cresselia! Whatever will I do? It has so many boosts! Goodbye, boosts. Wow, they haven't turned their console off yet. That's pretty crazy. Any burns? No, no burns. Great healing, though. Alright, uh... I think I just want to keep attacking with Macha Gacha. Fish for burns. Go into Moltres. Maybe go into Moltres and click Life Do. Heal it up a bit. I think that's what I want to do first. Wow, they're not quitting. They're really staying in here. What does your Cresselia have that thinks can handle this? Great read with that Moonblast. Like, amazing read, what? <laughs> Did you really read that? You know if you had done that to my Milotic, uh, it would have got stronger. Yeah, I'm just gonna Macha Gacha, I'm gonna Nasty Plot, I'm gonna, yep, battle was cancelled, finally. Alright, good game. That is the power of Haze. Just happens. All right, here we go. Corviknight, Chiyu, Fluttermane, Amoongus, Urshifu, and Farigarath. That's a very unusual team. I like it. That's a cool team, actually. That, that's a Corviknight in a pretty interesting squad. It's not really a Trick Room team, so it's probably like an anti-Trick Room Farigarath. Probably won't see that. All right, Chiyu, Fluttermane, Amoongus, Moltres isn't the worst. Moltres Grim. If I see a Moongus, I have to bring Incineroar. That would leave me extremely weak to Urshifu, so I have to have Sinistra. Are these the right four? It screams to me that it is a Moltres game. I think Gudra would be harder to pull off here. So I think it's a Moltres game for sure. Incineroar seems mandatory. Maybe it's not, but it seems like it is. But then again, every Amoongus I've seen has just been clear smog, which has been a real pain. Oh, hi Penny. All right, um, what lead do I want to see? That wasn't it. That was not the lead I wanted to see. Definitely not the lead I wanted to see. Uh, I wonder if I just go for a protect on Moltres and set up light screen. I do- I don't know what's gonna happen. 
Is it worth losing momentum to try to nasty plot if they have like taunt? I should be faster. Yeah, I'll just nasty plot. It's fine. Nasty plot light screen. I can be faster than Corviknight. So if they do have taunt, it's not a problem. Just a heat wave up to a lot. And Iron Head, they're faster. And Grimmsnarl's gone. No reflect this time. Okay, and their physical attacker cannot be intimidated. Excellent. They can't be intimidated, but they can be faked out. Yeah. I'm not here to intimidate you. I'm here to stop you from killing me. I would also love to bait out a Terra Ghost or something, but it's not really why I'm here. Now, Covert Cloak Corviknight, I've heard of. Chi swapping, I like. I like that a lot. Water Urshifu, I hate. I hate, hate, hate. Hate, 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 hate. That is not even remotely what I wanted to see. But... I know Moltres can take a Surging Strikes. If I could Fiery Wrath again, bring in Sinistra to get to full. If they feel like hitting Incineroar, they're gonna take some chip. This could work. This could work. Uh, the double up scares me. But they would probably have to commit Terra. Ooh, mistake! You're losing two mons unless you can get a flinch. Oh, Rocky Helmet Sinistra, thank you. Thank you. You are designed to be Water Urshifu. That is what they made Sinistra for. I love it. Okay. And what's Corviknight doing? Oh. Lowering my evasiveness? And my lights. Okay, that's an interesting tech. That's that's really interesting. Getting rid of my light screen like that? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But I think I gained enough momentum on that turn. Uh, I guess Chiyu Flutter. It would be terrifying now. Yeah, that's what you have in the pack is Chiyu Flutter, man. Okay, yikes. Major yikes. The biggest of yikes. And your booster is what stat? I would like to know. Speed. Okay, you're gonna go first then. Yikes. Incineroar is a good last to have. Click Fiery Wrath. I shouldn't risk any Protect sort of shenanigans. I think Rage Powder is probably for the best. I don't know. Uh, this Fairy Fluttermane would make a lot of sense. Yeah. I don't think what Sinistra clicks is important. I just didn't want to get red on the Terra and get Shadow Balled into Dark Pulse on Moltres. Incineroar is going to have to pick up some slag. That's for sure. Maybe I should have hard into Incineroar there. Just to get more healing on Moltres. I don't know. It doesn't seem worth it. At least it's just Dazzling Gleam, which, which Sinistra eats. Heat wave, which Moltres eats pretty well. Ooh, the burn's rough. The burn's pretty rough. That could be the difference maker there. But a 
plus three Fiery Wrath is nice. Does have to Flutter Mane. Excellent. Okay, so I think that means there's a chance. If that Chi Yu is choice, which it very well could be, because I think we saw it, but we saw it attack and then swap out. Am I remembering correctly? Yeah, I think that was their lead, and I think they swapped turn two when I threw a fiery rat. I think they're choice. Plus three fiery rat with beads of ruin knocks out Fluttermane from there. Fake out Chiyu. I think I might win this. They didn't protect their Fluttermane either. Oh my goodness. Moltres, are you doing it? Or are they the craziest thing in their covert cloak, Chiyu? No. Yo? Yo, Moltres? Yo, Moltres, yes! <laughs> oh, Moltres the goat. Wow. That defog tech was really cool. That almost, that almost made it a losing game, but Moltres just... Moltres. Moltres just being Moltres. Two shot and a fairy type with Fiery Wrath. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, we've got... Okay, Expanding Horse. Ooh, plus Landorus, plus Amoongus, plus Urshifu, and Fluttermane. Could be either Urshifu, I don't really know. Uh, I've got three dark types. You're not going to expand the horse, are you? Incineroar is a fine lead either way. Either they have the expanding horse, or they have a Moongus. Hmm. Maybe Gudra Incineroar. I have to be careful not to click fake out. With Sinistra in the back. Could be pretty good. Like, Landorus is the scary... Oh, that means I need Milotic? I don't get screens. I need all my parts for this match. They have things that everything needs to be. Like, Moltres beats the horse. Milotic beats the Landorus. Incineroar beats the Amoongus. Do I not bring Sinistra? Oh, maybe. Screens in the back? No screens? No, I bring screens, I bring Incineroar, and I bring Milotic. No Sinistra feels weird. No Sinistra feels really weird. But I don't really have anything on that team that Sinistra specifically beats. It's just there for hospitality. Which is huge. I mean... Oh, cool. You gotta sleep in Blissey. Like, don't get me wrong, Hospitality is an amazing busted ability. But that's all it really does most of the time. Alright. What's the item on that flutter? Oh, it looks like choice. Is it worth going for Parting Shot into Incineroar? I think it is. I think it's worth the risk of Indeedee coming in. Seems to be choice Fluttermane, maybe. Okay, I protect first, so I'm gonna get the swap. That's good. Some crazy, like, clear amulet Fluttermane were to be a thing. Well, that's good. Now a minus one Fluttermane hopefully doesn't two-shot my Incineroar. Please. Please don't. Yeah, Fluttermane, your attack's minus two. Take that. Just Dazzling Gleam. That's good. Especially if you're locked. That's really good. Ooh, that did nothing. Maybe you're not locked. Oh, they saw the goggles. Alright, my question is... Shelter? Or Heavy Slam. 
Oh, it's no, no way, never heavy slam. Fluttermane's doing nothing. It's 100% shelter. 100%. Yeah, Fluttermane ain't doing nothing. Oh, double protect. I see. I see. I have to taunt you again. And you could pretty easily swap out. But I have to taunt you again. I don't really have a choice. And I'm not heavy slamming the Flutter Main still. Because it's not really going to do damage. It could have something annoying like Parish Song or Taunt, but it would have clicked Taunt earlier. I don't know if it would have Protect and Parish Song. I've never seen that on an item list. Yeah, they swapped. Figured they would. I thought they would swap last turn. If I'm being honest. Maybe they don't have a good Heavy Slam switch in. No, they have Landorus. They went for Spore. Wow. I think I want to protect and bring in Grim. I could just bring in my Lodic. But I think threatening the Lando into Terra doesn't really do much for me. Whereas Grim can set up Light Screen or Parting Shot. Just generally do more. Just swap, that's fine. Back to Flutter? Yeah. That protect from Landorus. Interesting. Oh, my protect failed. I get to protect again. So I get to light screen and parting shot that Lando, maybe. That's cool. Uh, maybe they see that coming and they double the Grim. That could be annoying, but... Would that even knock out? I mean, the Sludge Bomb would do a lot. And they probably should commit Sludge Bomb, uh, Terra Poison, in this match. I guess maybe Amoongus could be worried about a Flare Blitz and save the Terra for that. Gleam. Just a gleam. Does some damage. And earth power. Cool. Parting Shot, Terra, Heavy Slam, Landorus. Just get some chip on it. Should very easily and comfortably take Earth Power. They just protect. Okay. You see what I'm doing now? Fine. last, most likely, Urshifu? Gudra likes that. Uh, do I protect now? <laughs> Just annoy the Lando even more? I think so. I think that's fine. Alright, 
This is one of them slow ones. They withdraw Landorus? For real? That's so interesting. Uh, maybe you do have clear smog then. Yeah, if you do have clear smog, you might want to get that in and go for it here. So maybe I should go for a fake out instead of a taunt. This one will do more. You're not at minus one this time. My screen should be wearing off soon too. Gudra, nice and healthy. I'm trying to keep it healthy because I don't have Sinistra. Oh, that's a lot more light screen left than I thought. Okay. I'm comfortable going for a heavy slam into Flutter and faking out the Amoongus this time. I might consider a double up into Amoongus with like Flare Blitz Heavy Slam next turn. Or even Body Press. I never know what's stronger between Heavy Slam and Body Press. Because my Body Press gets boosted, but it's a really weak move, whereas Heavy Slam is a really strong move, but that stat's not boosted. Oh, no Protect from the Flutter? Love it. Really committing to those Gleams. And progress has been made. Against Sash Flutter. Oh, I see. Fine. I think... Okay, Incineroar is faster, but it's Rocky Helmet Amoongus. So I do think doubling up on it is worth it. They just gleam again, wow. If this gets the KO, it does not, okay. Bye, Incineroar. You did your job, though. Amoongus is no more. Bye-bye. Now, the real question is whether I go to Milotic or Grim. Grim is going to get knocked out in one hit. So maybe I should save it for, like, fodder. Plus, if they have Landorus, I would love to threaten with Ice Beam. And that is... who is that? Cobalion! Uh, Iron Crown with the booster in the special attack stat. Not gonna lie, not really a fan of that. I like that I have light screen up, but that could hurt. That could hurt a lot. Might be a good time to protect Gudra. Send a life do? I don't hate that. It's like, obviously you're going to Tachyon Cutter, and you're going to Dazzling Gleam. Oh, Shadow Ball. Oh, that might boost me. Careful. It did boost me. Uh-oh. Uh, lowering my special defense is actually really annoying. But that boost is nice. I thank you for that. I'm just going to get both my mods to pull real quick so that I'm not really that scared. And now you're gonna be in trouble. Two whole turns of light screen remaining. That's great. Body press you. Also scald you. Protect on Fluttermane. That's cool. Is it protect on both? Because that'd be fine. 
Nope, just tack the uncutter. We eat that very nicely. And this double up is excellent. Oh, that's gonna do it. And a burn. Thank you. Now, the real problem. Light screen is about to end. Milotic has a special defense drop. Can Milotic actually win this? The Flutter Protect. Maybe I should double Flutter. And accept that something's gonna go down. Yeah, I think I need to double flutter and accept that something will die. Landorus protect. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Another drop on my logic. Oh, that might be bad. <laughs> Okay, if I am in KO range now from that Landorus with Milotic, that could be really bad. <sighs> minus two on Milotic. Oh, if it was just minus one, maybe. Minus two is so bad. I could swap in Grimmsnarl and protect Gudra. Is that worth it? Yeah, I'm gonna get knocked out. I'm at minus two special defense with no light screen. As much as I love the special attack boosts, I have to give them up. Uh, they fished for the Shadow Ball drops on purpose for this reason. I have to get rid of them. And now it's a win-win. They knock out Grimmsnarl and I get a free Heavy Slam. Or they knock out Go They were Steel Terra. Ah, Man. Maybe that works. Cause I just need a body press into you. And you know it. Do you think Sludge Bomb will knock me out from here? Will Sludge Bomb knock me out from here? Let me do some quick math. Hey. Careful Gudra versus a Landorus Incarnate. Sludge Bomb should do over half. Should do 101 to 122 if they're timid. Oh, so I could protect here. Get out of range. Try to get way out of range. And then probably body press to win it. It is Sludge Bomb, okay. I think Gudra can tank that. Now that it's back at full. Now what if they're like, modest? Modest max does 135 max damage. Oh no, Gudra can take that. Gudra's all good. <laughs> Gudra! Beating a Landorus, your number one enemy. No, oh, that did do a lot, but we took it. I sculled you down a bit. That actually does a good amount of damage. And the burn. Oh, yeah, my lock might have won this anyway. Another skull does it. But body press finishes the game. Ooh, that was a good one. GG to my opponent. They played really well, honestly. Really, really well. They were really careful with that Landers for the end game.
Just wasn't strong enough to beat Gudra. Go Gudra. Okay, despite everything, my rank is starting to increase. This is my first opponent above 1600. Oof. Chen Pao. Three physical mods. Bolt and Volcarona. Physical, 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 physical. Physical means Gudra. Gudra's really good. Honestly, I have to tear it. But it's really good if I do. So it has to be Gudra. Um, what do they have to stop Grim? They have Fake Out from two sources. And Urshifu. Maybe water. Probably water. Almost definitely water. Probably water. Uh, I could just bring Sinistra in the back, and then if I'm threatened in that way, swap Grim. Because I need to tear a Gudra. I can't tear a Grim. That'd be goofy anyway. Uh, and then do I want Incineroar? Or do I want Milotic? Milotic's weak to Rillaboom and weak to Bolt. And I'm not going to Terrastalize it. But... It's another thing that Urshifu can't Oko. Which is nice. I don't know. <laughs> Between Milotic and Incineroar, it's difficult. They have a lot of physical. And the Intimidate does work on Urshifu when I'm playing Gudra. Because it can't crit Gudra. But... I feel like Incineroar, if it's not in the right position, is kind of useless. And you don't have a trainer card. I'm a little nervous about them being such higher rank than me, but I mean, it's not a rank I've never reached before or anything. Is that all? Rillaboom Bolt. I don't mind just going for a shelter and a... I guess it should be a reflect. I don't mind that. I'm not too threatened. They're just attacking with Rillaboom. That's crazy. Oh yeah, they're gonna double in and get the KO. With a powerful Thunderbolt. No, they're gonna call mine. Gotcha. Well, you just became a huge threat. All right. Um, I don't know if they would have Volcarona, so I don't even know if I need Light Screen. I could just lower that thing's... Okay, we know that Rillaboom's faster than Grim. A parting shot into Milotic would be stupid. A parting shot into Sinistra wouldn't be the worst. To start ignoring Rillaboom would be nice. Maybe get another shelter up and then start hitting Bolt. Yeah, that's what I want to do. And plus, this will then encourage them to start using a dragon move if they have one. I can put two fairies on the field, honestly. Yeah, but I'm not going into Milotic yet. I'd rather be in Milotic, but not in front of Rillaboom. So Hospitality fails. U-turn. Okay. Woodhammer, U-turn, Rillaboom. Likely no ground move. Not that that matters much now that I'm at plus four. Incineroar on the field. Uh, Calmine Bolt could be completely walled. By Gudra. Perhaps I should just go for that now. Yeah, I'm gonna start body pressing the bolt. Probably just gonna get faked out. Um. Do I Terra Fairy now? Is there anything that can abuse my Terra Fairy? No. In fact, Fairy is better against everything they could have in the back. So 
well do that. I'll just get Sinistra out for now. Uh, it would be a knockoff Flare Blitz, Fake Out, Dragon Pulse. I think Grim is the right swap. Getting another drop on the Bolt. Getting a light screen up. These things could be good, because it's going to start attempting to rip everything apart that isn't Gudra. I think that's what their plan has to be. Now, now that, Especially now that they see it's Fairy Terra, their plan has to be use Bolt to destroy everything else, and then focus down the Gudra when it's all alone. And they're going for a Terra now. Ah, oh, it's Fairy Bolt, isn't it? Oh, it's Incineroar going for the Terra. Into Ghost. I'm happy to see that, honestly. I, I'm ha I don't like that it's Ghost Incineroar, that's bad. But, the fact that the Terra isn't on Bolt is good. Body press, over half, thank you. And a Will-O-Wisp. Ah, oh, that's rough. That's really rough. Hmm. I don't like that one bit. Cool tech. That's a cool tech. Alright. Oh, it's not over, obviously. I mean, they haven't done much damage. I think I will shelter up to max. And I think I'll throw a Spirit Break at Raging Bolt. I think they just have Thunderclap and Dragon Pulse. I don't think they would Thunderclap Grimmsnarl in this position, ever. Okay, they just protect. Fine. And then presumably some chip onto Grim. Flare Blitz, maybe? That Bolt is gonna be really hard to break. Maybe even as hard <laughs> as my Gudra. Now, who would win the 1v1 in the end? If it came down to it, my Leftovers is cancelled. Bolt would win the 1v1 in the end, I think. Because I would be forced to start using uh, body presses at some point. And then it could thunderclap me. And it's getting all the way back up to full soon. Yikes. Well, my Gudra's maxed. They've got plus two special attack. I think hitting them is good. I think setting up light screen is also good. Like, if they fake out, that's just a waste of time, really. They do fake out. And they thunderclap. Okay. That was decent damage, honestly. I like that trade a bit. But it's always so difficult to know what to do next. Grass is gone. So Grimstar is not actually that threatened at the moment. But it also means Gudra's not healing anymore. I guess a parting shot wouldn't be the worst play here. I don't want to get clapped. I want to hit them with a the spirit break, actually. Okay, they just protect. That's fine. 
I'm also protecting, you're probably just gonna go U-turn. Yeah. That's all. That's alright, bring your grass back up. The grass is helping me. Like, it's helping your bolt too, sure. But it's very much helping me. Let me guess, Incineroar? Yes. What's my eventual answer to Incineroar gonna be? This heavy Slam's never gonna do any damage. <laughs> uh, I guess my Lotic has to beat it. I could see a potential parting shot. Maybe going into my Lotic wouldn't be the worst. But. Obviously, I need to go into Sinistra here. And then get right back out so I don't get Dragon Pulsed. I think I'm in an okay place to body press the bolt. And bring in Sinistra. Sinistra being weak to Flare Blitz is annoying. Uh, I could definitely Rage Powder and start body pressing at some point. Just to get the Thunderclaps out of the way. Fake out. Nice. It is a thunderclap, which we eat very nicely, thank you. Body press. Does a decent amount. I could body press Rage Powder here. Would they protect Raging Bolt? Maybe. Maybe. Ah, they did. Okay, then uh, Life Dew or swapping in Milotic would have been good here. I do have a screen up, so it's not going to be too bad. Take that okay. Hmm. Bolt is so annoying here. This is gonna be a long game. Are we gonna play the timer? I have to start considering that that is a possibility. Whether I want to or not. Reflect is gone. That's bad. I think healing up would be nice right now. Alright, I protect the Gudra. Oh, it's just a Dragon Pulse. Most likely a Flare Blitz double up. I could not have brought in uh, Grim Snarl safely. And then a parting. Oh, just a parting shot? Okay. I bring in Grim Snarl. They will protect and parting shot. I would think that's what they do. Or maybe try to hit Grim Snarl. I don't remember this seeing the speed on Incineroar versus Gudra. They're the same base, and I have no investment. So I'm wondering if a body press into Incin. And going into my Lotic right away is worth it. Yeah, 
Yeah, it is a bolt protect. Show me parting shot, my Lodic. And we were faster. Or is a speed tie. If they do parting shot the Milotic, that's great. Mostly that just makes it a target. Great target for Rillaville Vita. Or Thunderclap games. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. Rillaboom has a naturally higher base speed than my lot. Do I give up Gudra's plus six defense to just get in Grimmsnarl? Is the Milotic being so strong even worth anything to me? When they could just Thunderclap or Woodhammer or both? exactly what's gonna happen here. It's not looking good. Ah, Thunderclap into Gudra. I'm guessing Woodhammer into Milotic. That's game. GG. Oh, I tried to play the annoying game, but they just played a more annoying game. That Will-O-Wisp Incineroar is what won them the game. That alone was enormous. Wow. Alright, how could I have gotten around that? Will-O-Wisp Incineroar. Um, it possibly could have been Safety Goggles, so it's not like Rage Powder would get around it. If I were to play again, I would have to bring my own Incineroar, or I would have to try to sweep with Moltres instead. Because Bolt with Grass can just take too many hits. Yeah, Bolt's broken. Bolt's so good. Alright, GG. But you see, I was playing around it a lot. It doesn't really have very many moves. Okay, we are fighting... Ooh, Enamorous with Contrary. Maybe Whimsicott to give it some boosts. And then Tinglu Glamora. I don't like Glamora. Incineroar and Urshifu. Very scary. Very, very scary. Because, like, what if that Enamorous has, like, stellar Terra Blast? Then I'm in big trouble. Because if I Terra something, because I've got a Fiery Weakness here, and I've got a Fighting Weakness here, could be a problem. Uh, I guess Sinistra could redirect any superpowers. Maybe I set up, but it could set up maybe as fast as me if it has Charm Whimsicott. And then there's Glamora, who's its own problem in and of itself, if I Terra Gudra. And also poisoning everything. So I guess I need special attackers that can take out Glamora. So I think... Oh, Ting Lu makes Moltres useless as well. Yeah, it's gotta be Gudra. I gotta get screens. I need Sinistra. And then it's whether it's Milotic, Incineroar, or Moltres. I'm leaning Milotic. Scald could do a lot for me. what I'm gonna go with. I do think a setup Gudra could do really well. The problem is getting there. If they just boost super fast. That's a, that's a general weakness of this style of team. If the opponent can just boost... Oh, Sleepy Lando. If the opponent can just boost to sky high damage really, really fast, I can't really take knockouts quickly enough to stop them. Okay. They do lead an amorous Whimsicott. I 
may have to go for Terra Shelter immediately. Instead of Reflect. I don't love that. I don't love that I have to do that. Because what if they just have Terra Blast? Of Stellar Terra. I know that's not common, but like, I've used it and it will be a problem if they have it. This also makes me weak to the Glamora in the back. Yeah, they just go for Charm. That's pretty obvious that was what was happening. I'm just setting up my Reflect. It's just Super Power for now. I need to protect and get in Sinistra so I, just so I can redirect and start doing something. Because if they have Terra Blast Stellar, they'll throw it right now. And they'll probably just charm and they'll get the plus six very soon. They know Terra, so they don't have Stellar. That's good, at least. They play rough my Sinistra. Okay. That's not too bad. Heavy slam there. Maybe I let Gudra take the hit and get Sinistra out of there. Clearly they don't have- they're not gonna superpower. They don't seem to have Stellar Terra Blast to redirect. I think maybe I should heavy slam and then get back into Grim, because I would rather lose Grim than Sinistra right now. And maybe I won't lose Grim and I'll be able to get another screen. Now they go for Terra. Are they just reading everything and they're gonna Stellar Blast me? Yeah, okay. I just can't win. <laughs> I guess they just have read the protect, and now they're just gonna... They're gonna fake tears themselves? Okay, that's fine. I don't really have any special attackers that are that important. Um, plus five. I'm plus two. Super effective. Ate that really well. Actually, that was really well. Oh, and that does a lot of damage, too. Yeah, you got your berry, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and protect and... I don't wanna bring in Sinistra and just have it be red. So I think I'll try to do some chip on an Amorous, just in case things go wrong. Ah, okay, you protect there. Good play. Just a moon blast into Grim. Alright, well you only did like 60%. You got another boost. But... Stellar Terra Blast isn't stellar boosted anymore. So I might be able to live another one. And the reason I'm not parting shotting is I don't want Whimsicott to like switch to a dark type or something to protect and then I can't get the parting shot. Lowering Whimsicott's special attack isn't the most important thing at the moment. Though, maybe Sinistra would have lived if I had. <laughs> well, it wouldn't, because they got a crit, actually. So never mind. No stellar boost this time, so hopefully I live. Excellent. And Enamorous is down. 
excellent, excellent, excellent. You have Moonblast, Fake Tears, Charm. You definitely have Tailwind. Right? So that's all you got. I'm gonna need to bring something in that can heal up Gudra. So I'm gonna go with Milotic first. Even though maybe I should consider Screen. No, it's just Tingle, that's fine. That's great. I love that. I love seeing Ting Lu. Alright, just plus two defense, three turns of reflect remain. I'm just gonna protect, play it real safe and slow. And light do. They don't really have any fake tears combos they can pull, except. I guess they could fake tears Gudra and then moonblast it later. They just moonblast my melodic, that's dangerous! No, it didn't happen. And then what do they have on Ting Lu that they're so scary with? Heavy Slam. Okay, I'm faster, so I'm gonna set up another shelter. Another shelter, another life do, and then Gudra's in a great position. Oh man. Gudra, you took some insane hits this battle. You are so crazy. Props to Sinistra for doing nothing but switching in and out a couple times. Okay, they're going for the charm. They, I can't heavy slam much anymore, but I'm going to be using the defense boost because your Ting Lu can't Terra anymore. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Slam does negative damage. I won't need the reflect anymore in a couple seconds because I'll get to plat mu uh, maximum defense. And I will start. Who's the most threatening thing they could have? Glamora? I'll just Ice Beam Whimsicott for now. Since my Heavy Slam isn't going to be doing much. It's the best thing I can do, really. I need it gone because eventually they'll catch on that Fake Tears might be the thing they should actually be going for. Especially if they do have Glamora in the back. Maybe that means they don't. Because if you have Glamora in the back, just throw down a Fake Tears and let something die. No. Okay. Okay. That's annoying, but manageable. I think I'll life do and take you out now. Reflect is gone now, but whatever. Finally, a body press. And like, even if you do have Glamora left, Milotic is still a threat. Oh, and now it's even more of a threat. Thank you very much. I was wondering if competitive Milotic was like even the choice, because like there are other water types who can fulfill similar roles, but I've been getting the drops a lot. Oh, that doesn't KO at plus six? Dang, Tang Lu. Okay. Now I want to go for a Heavy Slam, hope that knocks out Whimsicott, and Scald to finish off Tanglu. They go for another Charm. Okay. There's a good chance this Heavy Slam doesn't do it, but whatever. If I can knock these both out at the same time, that'd be great, but maybe it doesn't happen. Let's see. Minus four. <laughs> nope, not enough. And I'm sure you have Tailwind. Like, you don't have Endeavor, right? Right? Oh, and it's just Incineroar? Psh! 
<laughs> That's fine. That's great. I love that. Thank you. We got all of the minus five attack plus six defense. And we got minus one attack plus three special attack. I love it. All right, I'm gonna body press the Whimsicott. It's got, no, I'm gonna body press. I'm gonna body press the Incineroar. I'm gonna ice beam the Whimsicott, and it's just over. Okay, fake out on my Lotic. Another charm. I don't know what you think this charm is accomplishing, because body press is gonna Oko you. Blop. Goodbye. Whew, Gudra. That's a heck of a Gudra sweep. I love it. I lo this is what this team can do when it works. Maybe it doesn't always work. There's a lot of ways to get around it. Like that Enamorous was pretty close to giving us a trouble. But we made it through. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Hit a spread endeavor that protects yourself and sets up Sandstorm? That would do it. If we were even in sand range at that point. Okay. Time to do something. I guess you're just thinking about what you could have played differently. I think you played it right. I think boosting Enamorous and trying to smash was the right play. And you got all the reads right with it. It just wasn't strong enough. Good game, opponent. Really good game. And cool card. Okay, a Raichu! Oh, that's cool! Uh, Corviknight Tinglu, Gouging Fire, Water Ogre Pond, and Fluttermane. Gouging Fire plus Tinglu Howl Spam is really scary. Because that can boost really fast and get out of hand. Now, oh, they also have Corviknight, so I can't just spam attack drops either. If they want to howl with Corviknight, I'd be in big trouble. So I need Grim. Moltres can't really do much if Ting Lu is there. And it would have to Terra in front of Fluttermane. So I do think Gudra is the way. It's just going to be hard to get set up. And the way to get it set up might be Incineroar this time. Like, Light Screen isn't really going to help me against anything, except the Fluttermane. They have their own Fake Out. Which they could lead Fake Out plus Fluttermane to try to stop my screens anyway. Sinistra is important. I don't know about good. And then I need my Lotic. I just need all the healing I can get on Gudra. No screens game? Just Cycle Intimidates? Okay. Gudra, you're gonna have to... You're gonna have to handle it, because the screens help everybody. Shelter only helps Gudra. Oh, that's a cool card! How'd you get that lined up? I like it. Corviknight Gouging Fire. That is not a combo I wanted to see. Yeah, mirror armor drops my attack, but I also drop your attack. Confirm your set is the booster stuff. Okay, I got a shelter. I have to. Shelter and fake out core. Um, I could taunt something. Oh, they're not going for how? Oh, I don't care about my attack stat. Until your Fluttermane comes out. Or any other ghost. I don't care. You're not howling, huh? Okay. I can maybe deal with that. I'm gonna play it slow. I, when I protect, I risk them getting a howl. But I really want to taunt the core before it can taunt me. Because I feel like that's what you would do. You led Corviknight for a reason. Now you're going for Howl. See, that's why I don't want to protect.
Yes, it's taunt. I blocked the taunt. That's good. That's really good. Now what, do I taunt the gouging fire to stop more howls from coming out? Do I parting shot it? Obviously set up another shelter. I think I will taunt gouging fire now. Oh, and they're swapping gouging fire. Okay, who am I getting a taunt into? Fluttermane. Mm. That's fine. Ooh, that did damage. All right, plus one Corviknight's a threat. In case anyone didn't know. That's a threat. Very threatening, very scary. I'm terrified. Okay, getting rid of Fluttermane would be great. Would they swap out here? And I mean, I was attack lowered, so I'm not gonna Oko them. But I wonder if body pressing the Corviknight is more important. I do feel like it's more important. If I can get rid of Corviknight, that would be even better. Ah, uh, yeah, they swap Fluttermane. That's great. Good to see. They get Gouging Fire back. Okay, they were neutral attack when they left, so it's like, whatever. A little more recoil on the Corviknight. And a body press into the Corviknight. Hopefully does it. I'm only plus four. Does not do it. And they are buried up. It's gotta be Milotic here. There's no other choice. This prevents them from ever clicking Breaking Swipe again, too. I wanna body press the heck out of that Corviknight. is still taunted, so it can't get out of the way. I guess it could roost if it has it, but whatever. I think maybe I'll life do, just in case a big brave bird comes out. Oh, they swap Corviknight. Fluttermane? This Fluttermane. Okay, they're playing well with these uh, defensive swaps. making me waste a life do. Fluttermane has to go. Fluttermane is scary. Fluttermane could cause big problems. So I'm going to double into it. If they want to swap it back into Corviknight, they'll have to eat a Scald, which they won't appreciate. But my biggest concern is Fluttermane getting off multiple big moves. I don't think it's gonna Oko anything. But it can probably do over half with like a Terra Fairy Moonblast to either of these guys. And I need both of these for the endgame. Perish Song. Okay, I see. I see, that's a cool play. Now I gotta get both of my guys out. And all you would have to do is take a KO. Hmm. Smart play. And if when I swap you take a KO on that slot, I'd be in big trouble. Because the other one would be locked in. I think maybe I swap in Sinistra for the Gudra. And 
Scald Corviknight, hoping for a burn here. Or if they don't have any sort of healing. Like, I assume they might have Roost. And if they Roost, I would love to get the burn. Hopefully I get Sinistra in safely. If I don't get Sinistra in safely... Yeah, if they just predict Heat Crash, Brave Bird, the Gudra slot... Okay, they don't. That's good. Still, Brave Bird could be a problem. And it's Ting Lu last? Oh, I love Gudra. I love Gudra endgame. Into Sinistra. Did you read this? You get the Skull first. It's not enough. No burn, they roost. Okay. I think Terrastalize Rage Powder and bringing in Gudra. Because, like, they know Gudra is coming in on that slot now. They could pretty easily do some I just And I think the Sinistra Terra is the way to go this game. Then they don't, they don't have any super effective damage except for, like, Stomping Tantrum into Gudra. Maybe they taunt here. If they taunt here, they can stop my shelters. Bulk up Corviknight. Bulk up Roost Brave Bird. Taunt. Fissure! Yikes. Okay. I need to set up a shelter and then start hitting that Ting Lu as hard as I can with my fists. With anything I have. I'm thinking plus two body press. Yeah, I need to get to plus two before I start body pressing. Plus two body press doesn't Oko, but it might two shot maybe plus some chip from Macha Gacha. They've got a Terra as well. On the Ting Lu. I'm gonna lose to Fissure. I can't knock that out before it fissures my whole team. Good game. I I'm calling it now. It it's gonna fissure me to death. I have no way around it at this point. I can heal up all I want. It's not gonna matter if I'm at full health if they just land fissures. That's two misses. We take misses. I'm gonna throw a cheeky matcha gacha and protect Gudra. Cause I know the fissure wants to go at Gudra. Yep, you wanna taunt Gudra so I don't get too strong. You want to fissure Gudra, because I'm a threat. But I could get a cheeky burn in here on one of you, which would change this a lot. Crit the Ting Lu, yeah! Sinistra was the target. Did not expect that. Okay. Definitely Macha Gacha going for burns. Body press Corv. Because I can't do any status moves. Now the fissure would be at Gudra, right? I don't know. But that's three out of eight gone. Which means it's unlikely they take out my whole team. Burn on Corviknight. That's the one that I needed it. That will definitely help. Fissure misses again! This time it was on Gudra. You know what? This might be doable. Can I still not use status moves now? Taunt turns. Last taunt turn. Two more taunt turns. 
a matcha gacha for a burn on the Tinglu, and I body press Corviknight because it doesn't have protect. Yeah, you're gonna roost, but that doubles the damage I deal with body press. Hopefully putting it in range. Also doubles the damage I do with Matcha Gacha, though that's not much damage. And I get the burn on Tinglu, who's just clicking Fissure, so that doesn't really matter. Good damage into Corviknight. Fissure misses again? I mean, I will take it, but I have to be honest, they should be connecting some of these. Sinistra shakes off the taunt. So I Rage Powder. And I body press Corviknight again. I can't have the Fissures going into Gudra. If, if they only hit one Fissure out of eight, and it's Sinistra, that's okay. Yeah, they go for the taunt so that they can taunt my Gudra next turn. But that's not gonna work out for you, because I hit the body press now. We're making progress. I, I feel like I should give them a fissure. They're not hitting these. I've lost count of how many fissures they have. They're just not hitting them. I think that was six. I think that was six fissures. So it might be in my best interest to protect Gudra. If I can. I can. This turn. Can't use Rage Powder yet. Uh, Matcha Gacha for a little chip and protect Gudra. Maybe they read this. It's fine. Yeah, they howl. They, they should howl there. I, there's nothing better to do. You want your attack boosts. I cannot burn the gouging fire, so this is just for a little tiny bit of chip. Fissure at Sinistra Mists. And I think this is the last time they can fissure. I think they're down to their last one. I still can't Rage Powder? I could Rage Powder now. Um, I guess I set up another shelter. Maybe I should consider bringing my Lodic in there to uh, eat the Fissure. But my Lodic has a good chance against these in the end game anyway. Because of its uh, Haze. So if Gudra goes down, it becomes harder, but Haze my Lodic could win this. It's just stomping. Yeah, they're just starting to do good damage with that, too. How long was I taunted for? That's the longest taunt in the world. I guess I matcha gotcha again. I think it's time to body press the Tinglu. Okay, they go for a heat crash, that should be good enough. No, it doesn't. I love the chip. Now Matcha Gacha plus body press, take out this Tinglu. <laughs> a little tiniest bit of healing. Oh, I'm out of the red. Come on, do enough. Did not do enough. Shop. Oh, I think Rocky Helmet does enough, though. Yeah, there we go. Goodbye. Now you've got Heat Crash and Breaking Swipe. Yeah, good luck ever beating Milotic. Woo! I'm sorry, Tinglu. You should have hit at least one of those fissures. That was a little bit unfair. But, I mean, you're the one running Fissure, so... Kinda did it to yourself. You missed them. I didn't dodge them. You missed. 
It's at plus two. Gudra's at plus four. I'll just send Gudra to plus six. And start doing skull damage. He crash into Gudra, does negative damage. Excellent. Yeah, my Lodic was gonna win this endgame anyway. Cool. Whew. Now just time to clean up. All right, Gudra. We'll go ahead for a body press. Uh, I guess they should burning bulwark here. I don't care. I don't care that they're gonna burn my Gudra. Yeah, battle's canceled. Good game, kinda. Still a great trainer card, Steve. Okay, we're f oh, oh, that's such a cool team. Oh my goodness, Pachirisu, Lapras, Chen Pao, King Gambit, Ting Lu again, and a horse of some kind, whatever that is. Some sort of Clydesdale, made of mud. As much as I love Iron, uh, Shelter Gudra, I'm worried about like Super Fang, I'm worried about like Parish Song, I don't know what the Lapras is doing. I don't know what the Lapras does. I genuinely have no idea. They have two ground types too, so if they threaten Moltres into a Terra, I'd be in trouble. They have two ice types to do so. And King Gambit, I mean, they have King Gambit. Rule is, if they have King Gambit, I need Gudra to win. So Gudra has to be part of the win condition. And so, Gudra will be the win condition. I'm gonna put all my eggs in the Gudra basket. Uh, I'm not gonna bring Incineroar because they have a Defiant. I'm not gonna bring Moltres because it's just not good. Tinglu, King Gambit, two Ice types that force Terra. So these are the four, and this is the order. I'm confident that I chose everything correctly. Now it just has to play out well. Oh, it's a little sleepy, shiny Rowlet! I love when the Pokemon are, in the, are asleep in the trainer cards. They're so cute. Okay, these are the two Pokemon I am most afraid of, because I don't know what that is. What What is this? Is this a combo? Do y'all at home know what these things do together and you're shouting at me, don't do X, because they're gonna do Y. But I don't know what Y is. Maybe they got Super Fang, maybe they got Parish Song. Parish Song would be annoying, but they don't have any way to trap me in. I don't even know what screen to put up. Presumably light screen. But I don't know. No, I, I, I think that thing gets Super Fang, so there's that. It could nuzzle. Yeah, it's just nuzzling my Grimmsnarl, just to be annoying. It's gonna paralyze my whole team, I've accepted that. Oh! That's not okay. That's not okay at all. I don't want to be fissured. I want to be protected. Um, what can I do to stop that? I could rage powder it away. Yeah, that's what I can do. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna throw a body press right away. And go into Sinistra. What's with all the fissures? Okay, if this Lapras is fissure, it probably also has sheer coal. Right? Or horn drill or something. Because they're, they're just trying to be funny. Alright, who's the Terra? Lapras is the Terra. Into fire. Why does I bring out my grass type? Okay, they nuzzle my Gudra. That's fine. I expected that. Would you nuzzle and fissure at the same time? Sure, Cole. That was good damage. I will take that damage. And I will run with it. Uh, plus two does a third. I would need to get to plus six to OKO from there. 
So I'm just gonna throw another body press and rage powder. Hoping that none of these Oko moves knock me out before I can knock you out. Yep, another nuzzle. Just paralyzing my whole team. Very scary. I, as long as I keep dodging, I'm fine. Like, yeah, now you're gonna follow me away a shot. How would life do cured paralysis? Maybe this is where I protect and matcha gotcha. Oh, Gudra's paralyzed. Now you're gonna hit a sheer cold. Rest. Okay. Is it sleep talk? Is it sleep talk? Don't tell me it's sleep talk. It's gonna be sleep talk. It's 100% gonna be sleep talk. I need to boost higher. Yeah, since I'm paralyzed, I might as well put Trick Room up for now. It's Quick Claw, Sleep Talk, Sheer Cold. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, you're definitely winning the funny war. Your team is funnier than mine. Um... How, how do I feel about that? I need to hit them. And I'll matcha gotcha just to chip down the squirrel. But oh my goodness! The trick room doesn't even matter if they're just gonna quick claw fissure. Okay, thank you. They're sleepy sleepy, they're sleepy talking, but the chance of rolling one that hits the right target, very low. Yeah, they just get rest. Charm again. Oh. This is so scary. <laughs> uh, body press. They're probably just going to rest and follow me. Yeah, probably. They get Quick Claw, so they get the rest, if that's what they're going for. Before I can even hit them, but they follow me anyway. They wake up. They sure cold. They miss. Okay, they might be done. A paralyzed Gudra has them in a position to knock it out. So most of the time, they're done. Wow. Yeah, a weakness of this team is it gives the opponent a lot of time to do whatever they want. Now, fortunately what they want is terrible. That has Fissure too, doesn't it? I know what all those Pokemon have in common. All of those Pokemon get Oko moves. Sheer Cold, Chen Pao, Fissure, Ting Lu, Guillotine, King Gambit, and Fissure Mudstone. I understand. I understand what's happening. Yeah, go ahead and quick claw. I don't care. I'm rage powdering, because I would rather lose the teacup than the game. Fissure, good dodge Sinistra, body press, and then another fissure. That's my guess, at least. Okay, Lapras is down, though. We're making more progress. 
Does your dodge? Good dodge. Good dodge, Sinistra. Yeah, light screen did not come into play even once. Holy cow. Chen Pao is your cold? Fine. I'm gonna take advantage of that uh, defense drop to try to O-code Ting Lu. And then I'm gonna... Still Rage Powder, probably? Uh, last turn of Trick Room. No, I think I will throw a Matcha Gacha in case you're like sad. Or in case Ting Lu lives. It did live. I thought it was sort of ruined that'd be enough, but I'm glad I hate Matcha Gacha. Phew! I feel a lot better now. Sure, you can sheer cold the rest of my team, but. You missed. Wow. Yeah, no, I've used Sheer Cold. I understand. That is what it's like. Body press. I'll try Rage Powder. Uh, I did not succeed at Rage Powder. They do not succeed at Sheer Cold. And Gudra does not succeed at Body Press. Okay. Nothing happened that turn. It's still my best play. With all these paralyzes, it's possible for them to win still. Okay, Sinister dodges. Let the body press. Oh, come on, Gudra! Come on! I'm giving you all the chance. No, you know what? I'm not gonna complain. The luck was in my favor in this game. Yeah, and they just forfeited. Whoo, that was something. Not a good game. <laughs> all right, we're back with the rental code. If you liked this video, which you probably did if you made it this far, go ahead and don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'm Jordy. And uh, alright, peace.